is Pastor Anton Bronson of World Harvest Centered Ministry, where our focus is centered on the harvest of the world. And where we can't go by air, we go by prayer. We hear a lot of good messages, but is there a word from the Lord? I got good news for you, my friend. There is a word from the Lord. So stay tuned. Play close attention as we prepare now to go into the word. But the topic of today's message is God has empowered us to work. Somebody say that. God has empowered us to work. Now say, go ye. Go ye. I mean, go you. Amen. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we prepare now to get into the word. We thank you for this communion Sunday. We thank you for the, another communion Sunday. God, we're all excited to be here, Father, be able to, to take our communion, God, just to show you, God, that we are here remembering what took place for us to be able to say that we're saved. And we didn't forget you, Father. We love you. We can't wait to do it with you again when we enter into eternity, Father. But even on this communion Sunday, this special Sunday, Lord, where we love on you so much, we appreciate you so much, and we remember, oh, God. We just pray, God, you open up our eyes to the scriptures on today. I trust that every heart will be open, ready to receive your word, Father. God, let the word wash us. Let the word cleanse us. Let the word deliver us, Father. We pray on today in Jesus' name. And Holy Spirit, we love you. We ask that you so teach us, teach us, teach us, Holy Spirit. Let our spirit eyes, spiritual eyes be open like never before. In Jesus' name, if you agree, say amen. 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 So let's get into the word now. He said God has empowered us to work. God has empowered us. To work. That's going to bring us to Matthew chapter 28. We're going to begin reading at verse 16. It says, Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Let's go back up to verse 16. Something just jumped out real quick. It said, Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into the mountain where Jesus had appointed him. I, I, I'm trying to find out. I'm pretty sure, but has Jesus appointed you here? Hmm? Holy Ghost just brought that out. <laughs> Think about that. Has Jesus appointed me here? When I say here, I mean in this ministry. Because if you're going to test, if you're going to agree, amen, if you got that witness in your spirit that Jesus has, and I believe he has, appointed you here, this commandment is for you. Amen. This commandment is for you. And I mean, God, he's going to hold you accountable for this commandment that we're about to get on today. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. What commandment is he talking about now? <laughs> Amen. But listen now, he said, then, then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. You ain't not doubting, are you? Huh? Shouldn't be no doubt in you. I say, it shouldn't be no doubt in my heart at this point. Hallelujah. Verse 18, it said, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Somebody said, I really got to remember that. How many, how many times we, we, we have reminded ourselves that of that? That all power has been given unto, I'm going to say your, but you know our, all power has been given unto your Lord and your Savior in heaven and in earth. Let that register now. Jesus, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and all power has been given unto him in heaven and in earth. The one that you are serving. If, you, if you're in the realm of the Spirit, you know God is re-equipping you right now with this knowledge. He say he's my Lord, he's my Savior, and all power is given unto him in heaven and in earth. Now listen to that now. Listen to verse 19. He said, go ye therefore, or you can say because of this, right? Because now you come to this understanding that all power has been given unto me or to Jesus and you. He is my, your Lord and Savior. He said, and because of this, now you got this understanding. You say, y'all believe this, right? He said, go ye therefore, go ye therefore. Somebody says, it's time for me to go. 
Say it loud. It says, it's time for me to go. He said, go ye therefore, now you've attained this knowledge, go ye therefore and do what? He said, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Yes, I understand this is specific instruction for those that he's speaking to, to what he said the 11 at this time, right? Because we know y'all ain't going to be going out there baptizing. You, you understand, you ain't going to baptize nobody at work tomorrow, nothing like that. We understand, the or, say, we understand the order of the thing. But we understand also the principle of the thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Just like it was for them to go in all the world, amen, and teach, that's our responsibility as well. Or basically, just say, I know what part, what part is mine. It's all, of our, it's, it's all of our part. It's all of our responsibility. The commandment is given to all that received Jesus Christ to go out and to teach. Because if you've really been taught something, the proof that you've really been taught something, you're able or you have the ability to teach somebody else what you've been taught. Am I right? So are we seeing the responsibility? And this is not just a word. This is what Jesus is commanding us to do right now in this day. That's why I say, are you sure that you have been appointed here? Because when you understand that you have been appointed here and God has given instructions to you in the place that he has appointed you to, and you choose to disobey that instruction, you understand what I'm saying? Somebody say, you can choose your choices, but you can't choose your consequences. Y'all let that sink in. You can choose your choices. Amen. But you can't choose them consequences. There's consequences to this thing. It's consequences to sitting up on the truth. And the reason why we, 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 begin, we, we take it lightly because we don't see immediate consequence. Huh? Oh, but when consequences come, they come. Can anybody attest to that? You ever did? You ever got to been chastened of the Lord? Hmm? Amen? <laughs> so are you hearing what the word of God is, is teaching us today? Write this point down. Jesus has given us his commandment to go. Jesus has given us his commandment to go. And he says, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And we went into this a couple of Sundays ago. He said, teaching them, say, teaching them, the, them to what? Observe. We had the definition of observe. We went through that. That's a deep thing. I want to ask you to turn to your notes. We don't have time. But teaching them to observe, say, all things. He said, all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Then we said we had a responsibility. We have a responsibility to teach this. That came out of that uh, series. And he said, lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. You got to remember that. The Lord is, say, when I go, the Lord is going to be with me. You got to remind yourself of that. You know, the Lord is, even if you don't feel him, you got to know that the Lord is with you. Amen. It's many times what I do, what I do as a pastor, as a minister, sometimes you don't, I don't feel him right then and there. Amen? But I got so much confidence in him, you understand? Because how many have experienced the, the presence of the Lord when you knew he was with you? You got to learn how to take those moments. Huh? And you got to say, I know well, he won't leave me in this situation. He didn't leave me in that situation. Amen. One of my friends said yesterday I had to minister at a, a home going service. He said, man, you was ready. And I was ready. <laughs> Amen. And I felt ready that day. I knew I was ready. You understand? I, me and my son went to the, y'all know I like to go to the restroom for a minute. Just make sure everything good. You know, get a sip of water, make sure my mouth is, you know, understand. We was in the restroom. I said, man, I'm ready to go, man. <laughs> yeah, but I just said that to say this. I don't always feel like that. 
Amen. But yeah, I was ready to go. I had an assignment. You understand? I had an assignment to deliver. Amen. And it was, I wouldn't, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really hit people like I normally hit people. But because God gave me an assignment to encourage, it was really about encouraging that wife. Amen. That was my side. I had to encourage that spouse with the word of the Lord. I don't think I ever got a message like that, you know, speaking on the behalf of the one that went on to be with the Lord. You know, I know God gave me that. I never ministered like that. But it was like a word from that husband to that wife. Amen. So it was a different setting. But, but yesterday I felt ready. But as many times I don't feel ready. As many times I stand up before you, I don't feel ready. Amen. And it was once upon a time when I first started ministry, everybody knew I wasn't ready. But then, because I kept moving my faith in that moment, if you're spiritual, you, sometimes p- spiritual people say, oh, oh, the Holy Ghost don't switch on now. He ministered now. You know, you'll know, like, oh, oh there it go right there. And you can, you'll know that person, yeah, he, he, they feeling their way out through. But you can feel it's like a switch turn on that person. And that's just how it is when you go out there, when you want to be a witness for Jesus Christ. Sometimes uh, uh, Brother Caleb and uh, Deacon Johnson, they'll tell you, we go out there witnessing. Sometimes we get that first person. I even stumble over my words, you know, but it, it seems like you warm up. The Holy Spirit just switch on and then we just start flowing. But that's just that's going to happen. You, but you got to have faith and know when you go out to go, amen, that the Lord is going to be with you. He's going to be with you. Amen. That's a lot of reason I think sometimes we are we are we are we're afraid or we're shy to 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 share our faith with other people or or to give our advice in, in, in you know in a situation or a setting where we know we should have said something. Amen. We had the opportunity to say it, it was nothing hinder us from saying, but we just didn't feel, you know, sometimes you don't even feel who am I to say that to them? Huh? But you gotta understand in those moments that I have a commandment. Glory to God. I have a commandment, and, and, and I have this commandment. Even I don't feel worthy to do this at this point. He promised me that he would be with me always. Being with them always meant that you could find out. Uh, I don't know if that was in the book of Mark, but it said as they went, the Lord was what? He was working with them. Glory to God. The Lord going to be working with us. I thank God for October. Amen. We say we're going to start back doing the soul winning now. We got good weather now. Amen. So we're going to be starting back soul winning. We haven't stopped, but, you know, going out and just making it a purpose, you know what I'm saying? Hey, come here. <laughs> you need to be, you know, because you know, I'm always passing out tracks on my jobs, constantly inviting people uh, to church. Amen. But we're just going to go back and pinpoint uh, soul winning on some of these Saturdays. Amen. They're going to have to give me a break this Saturday if they will. Amen. Because I've been kind of running, had a long, like two weeks, two, three weeks straight. I've been having a lot of stuff going on amen in the history of this ministry amen i really tired for real this time i ain't talking about the three serves i'm just talking about dealing with situations and things like that for real amen so y'all give me a break this saturday amen because i'm on a rest i really need to rest i feel it in my body right now amen because a lot of things when you go spiritually i mean when you go through things in the spirit man you're dealing with spiritual things man it, it takes a wear and tear on your body as well and I thank God I learned from gleaming and looking at older men, men that went before me, amen, that, that you got to let that body get some rest if you want to be around a long time, amen? So I don't want no different. I just got my blood work back. Everything is good. Only thing they uh, advise, you know, get a little exercise, amen. And what else? A little low-fat diet, but all pretty much everything, A1C, all that stuff was good, amen. So I want to keep it that way. Amen. But when you go through things, man, spiritually, don't you know, physically things begin to happen on the inside of your body. And why you got to learn how to carry the weight. Amen. You got to learn how to balance those things out. You got to know when to, hey, I, gotta, I can't hold that. I got to cast this off. Amen. Amen. Because you're a pastor. What he do, he takes, I take on y'all load. Y'all don't understand that. You know, you, you know how you like to tell me everything and what you're going through. And I, I go through it with you. Amen. I go through that with you. I, mean, I feel y'all. I know I, I, I heard Sister Tammy yesterday at the home going, I said, hey, daughter, come here. Amen. But I really mean that. You might not understand that. Amen. But I carry y'all. I carry y'all. I carry y'all. Amen. I carry y'all. Y'all are, see, y'all, I'm, we are part of pastor. Pastor Anton Bronson of World Harvest Centered Ministries. Perhaps you are blessed by the broadcast that you just viewed. If 
So we want to hear from you. We want you to dial this number that's at the bottom of your screen right now because somebody's going to be waiting on just your call. The number is area code 904 713 3609. Again, it's area code 904 713 3609. Until next time, we'll be waiting to hear from you.